All right, guys. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a software called Vector Magic. Uh, Vector Magic's a, a good uh, vectorizing software uh, from beginning screen printers all the way to advanced. Uh, what this does is it uh, vectorizes your artwork uh, pretty quickly. So right here I have a, a piece of artwork a customer had sent me, which uh, looks pretty decent. Uh, but when you go, for example, to print a transfer out. It's, it's pretty bad. So you say, all right, you tell your customer, yeah, no problem. That, that, art, that art works pretty good. Okay. So you come in to print it. And now you're going to see that the artwork is pretty bad. Pretty badly pixelated. Right? I'm going to throw out the whole image. It's just, it's just bad. Now you don't definitely don't want to put your name on that. So what we're going to do, we're going to run... Uh, vector magic. So you're going to take your artwork. Okay, it has uh, different settings here fully automatic, basic, and advanced. I, I just stick with basic. Um, you can play with it a little bit, but I mean, there, there's really no need to um, basic artwork like this. So, right here, uh, you got photograph, uh, logo with blended edges, logo without blended edges. So, I just stay right here in the middle. Okay, okay medium, there's high, medium, low. Uh, and fixed colors. Uh, you can change it to two colors like black and white. Uh, you can have flexible colors like if you have something else in here you want to just change the color to it. Uh, I stay with fixed colors, let the software pick the color. So pretty much it's just going to be uh, your four colors. Gray, white, black, and red. Alright? So yeah, gray, black, red, and white. Uh, and you can change it if you want to down here. You say, okay, well there's something that has like a subtle shape. You can add that shade and you know put it here and I'll throw it in there. But now I'm just gonna stick with these four colors. Okay, so you go to next, it's gonna segment the image. Okay, there's two steps to this. It's gonna segment. After it segments, uh, you're gonna hit next again. So when you hit next, that's uh, the process that's gonna take a little bit longer. So right right now we're at 80%. Okay, now it's going to smooth. Okay, smoothing results is what's going to take a little bit longer. Um, I could fast forward the video, but I just want you to see uh, how long it takes in real time. You can definitely fast forward if you'd like, but I just want you to see how long this actually takes. It's, it's fairly quick. Um, before I had Vector Magic, what I'd have to do, uh, if I had a piece of artwork that was in bad shape, I'd have to go in with my, my magic wand here and I have to trace everything. I have to trace everything out. All this stuff right here. And this piece of artwork right here, which Vector Magic is going to do within a few minutes, it definitely would take me upwards of an hour to do. And the eye strain on that alone is, is pretty bad. Um, so, yeah, those times kind of had me second guessing my, my career path here. But, yeah, once I found this Vector Magic, I mean, you turn them and burn them pretty quick. Um, so I'm just letting that run right here. Uh, another thing on Vector Magic is there are some pieces of artwork that definitely won't work. Um, later on, I'll make another video of uh, a little bit more uh, difficult artwork, a little bit more uh, pixelated artwork. Um, this one's fairly basic, so uh, Vector Magic shouldn't have a problem uh, turning this out. But like I said, there are pieces of artwork that, that just aren't going to work. Um, but what's good about this is when a customer sends you a piece of artwork, you definitely don't want to get too technical with them because they're just going to look at you straight through you. They, they um, for, for the most part, they don't know what you're talking about. If you say, well, I can't use this image because it's pixelated, and 50% of the time they're going to ask you, well, what's pixelation? you got to go into that. It's, it's pixelated. Uh, you know, it's choppy right here. It's going to look at you. Can't you fix it? Isn't that what you do? So now you get into charging $25, $30 uh, an hour for artwork. And sometimes that's going to turn away customers. They're going to go with another screen printer that has similar software to this that's not going to give them any problems. So what I like to do is keep it as simple for the customer as possible, even when they give me a little bit more difficult artwork. Um, I'll just say, sure, no problem. We can knock it out for you. That way uh, you get repeat business. Because, for example, um, if they say, well, let me see if I can find a better price somewhere else, they'll go somewhere else, and then they're going to give them all this stuff about the artwork, and um, 
it's happened to me before to where customers come to me and they're like, yeah, they're giving me problems with the artwork. I don't understand. I send them the artwork and it looks pretty decent and uh, they're, they're telling me they can't do it for whatever reason. So they send it to me and it's like, oh, it's just, I mean, I can definitely, like, no problem. So I gain uh, business like that. Just, you know, not giving people all that technicality with artwork. Anyway, here we go. Um, look at that. Look at how nice that looks. So if I go right here to the bitmap, this is going to be how the original image looked. So look at that. Look at how pixelated that is. Look at how nice that looks. See, again, look at how pixelated that is. Look at this guy's face right here. Pixelated. You're going to have all that pixelation in your screen if, if you were to burn it like this. So look at how nice that looks. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and save it here. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I'm going to do another another video on how to color separate this. There's going to be different ways to separate it depending on your color garment. Uh, but uh, look out for that video. Thanks. Thanks for watching.